Ryoki KTN News at the Parliament Buildings, Nairobi. Now as curtains fall on the tenure of the 12th Parliament, the 349 legislators of the National Assembly face scrutiny over how they conducted their legislative representative and oversight roles for the past five years. Our senior political affairs reporter Chris Thairo looks at the good, the bad and the ugly of the 12th Parliament. Months after the 12th parliament was legally constituted and members sworn in, <laughs> MPs affiliated to the ruling Jubilee Party and those in NASA could not see eye to eye even within the presence of parliament. <laughs> In October 2017, Mbakasi East MP and his Tarehe counterpart exchanged blows in the presence of parliament after Babu claimed that President Uru Kenyatta was not fairly elected and that he was just a caretaker president. It took the intervention of Sergeant Towns to quell the fight. <laughs> Outside parliament, the scenes were no different as the so-called honorable members decided to solve their political differences physically. <laughs> this was a fight between Dagoretti North MP Simbarati and South Mugirango MP Silvana Sosoro during the burial of Kisi Deputy Governor Josh Mangi's father in Kisi County. There is evidence, Madam Speaker, that money was changing hearts in this house. And if that was not enough, the 12th parliament will also be haunted by claims of bribery. On several occasions, MPs have accused each other of receiving or issuing bribes to influence some legislative decisions. I stated here, Madam Speaker, that I saw Honorable Gandhi, Honorable Gandhi distributing money in terms of 100,000 and 200,000 came up. I would like you, Chair, in your place to challenge the Honorable Nidi Nyoro to substantiate that very reckless claim that he made against the Honorable Gedi. And if he cannot substantiate it, he should go ahead and withdraw that statement. I want to tell them, you can bribe the Honorable Members here. But you cannot bribe the people of Kenya. Yes. And as a son of Mau Mau, yes. I cannot be intimidated by these hecklers and COVID billionaires. I'm the one who's speaking. I'm the one who's speaking. Okay. Just keep quiet. I'm the one who's speaking. Members, please take your seats. Take your seats, honorable members. Temporary speakers facing a rough time trying to control members who most of the time engaged in a shouting match whenever there was a controversial debate. And since the 2018 handshake between President Uru Kenyatta and Opposition Chief Raila Odinga, the 12th Parliament was accused of going to bed with the executive. Opposition MPs been on the front line in supporting the government's agenda without much scrutiny. The legislators were also accused by the Auditor General of high spending due to foreign trips and hefty allowances running into billions of shillings. It will also be remembered that it was during the 12th parliament that the country was hard hit by the COVID-19 pandemic. Our legislators were not spared by the pandemic. For instance, former Kiamba MP, the late Paul Koinange, and former Matuga member of parliament, Justice Murunga, succumbed to COVID-19 complications. However, on the flip side, the 12th parliament will be hailed for introducing bills and passing laws that have positive impact to citizens. Among the laws include the Employment Amendment Bill 2021 that paves the way for graduates to seek jobs without producing clearance certificates from state agencies as well as the Data Protection Act that secures privacy to personal data. Chris Dairo, KTN News, Nairobi. Now just like the previous parliaments, the National Assembly's 12th parliament